14th of April, 1912. A night to remember. A night when the largest, most luxurious liner of her day was speeding across the North Atlantic on her maiden voyage. No expense had been spared to make this ship a symbol of man's final victory over nature. Her first class passengers were the very cream of society. The aristocrats from Europe and millionaires homeward bound to America. In the steerage class, everyone enjoyed their own kind of boisterous fun. Then there were the second class passengers and the crew. 2,208 happy, confident people speeding across a flat, calm sea in a ship that everyone knew was unsinkable. Absolutely unsinkable. The ship was called the Titanic. <laughs> What did you see? Iceberg, get ahead, sir! <laughs> Kenneth Moore, whose warm, compelling sincerity holds him high in the hearts of cinema goers all over the world as light on her the second officer on a ship whose destruction shook the very foundation of man's progress and marked the end of an era. How many people are there on board? 2,200 or more. And room in the boats for... How many? 1,200. This is the epic drama of the greatest disaster in the history of the sea. Goodbye, my dear son. Here, for the first time, is the story of that night. A night when 2,200 men, women and children were faced with a terrible fact. The fact that most of them were going to die. No work of fiction could ever contain such incredible twists of fate or leave such terrible questions unanswered to haunt the mind. Why did that last ice warning never reach the captain? What happened on the ship that stopped within sight of this struggle with death, but didn't save a single life? No writer of thrillers could ever achieve such agonizing suspense. Sir, sir, what the devil's going? Haven't you learned to knock before you come in here? It's a distress call, sir, from the Titanic. She's sinking. Carpathia, sir. She's making 17 knots and should be with us about 3.30. That'll be too late. 